Hold up. Let me give you some more reasons why you should stay out of the water. Check this out. Although we've explored only a tiny fraction of the ocean, some sites often challenge our understanding of marine life. Orcas, or killer whales, have been doing something really weird over the past few years. They are attacking and even sometimes sinking boats. Weird to who? Weird to who? Them? It's not weird to them. It's just a regular day, normal day for them. It's weird to us. But then again, we shouldn't be out there. Join us as we dive into some of the most surprising and chilling discoveries that you won't want to miss. Oh, holy crap! A group of kayakers had a once in a lifetime experience when they encountered a large group of whales just below the water's surface. As they floated, one of the whales gently lifted their kayaks, giving them a brief but unforgettable ride. Remarkably, the whale carefully lowered them back into the water without causing any harm. Whales, particularly humpbacks, are known for their curiosity and sometimes interact with small watercraft. Despite their enormous size, whales can be surprisingly gentle, showing that even the ocean's giants have a soft side. We can say that about a lot of marine life. You know, sharks are curious. They bite you to see how you taste. <laughs> Orca's lesson. This is what happens when you violate the safety rules. Three kayakers were paddling toward a ship when an orca suddenly appeared, leaping out of the water and landing just a few inches away from one of the kayaks. Orcas are curious creatures known to interact with boats and humans. This orca's dramatic leap may have been its way of investigating the unfamiliar kayaks. Although they don't harm humans, it's important to keep a safe distance from these magnificent animals to ensure everyone's safety. The incident startled the people on the ship, but fortunately, the kayaker remained unharmed and fine after the encounter. Man, that orca out there just playing with y'all. <laughs> you better hope. Whale surprise. This unforgettable moment features an old man on a kayak who had a rare encounter with a whale. While he was in the middle of the ocean, a whale surfaced just inches away with its mouth wide open. Despite its size, the whale remained calm and didn't touch the kayak. And the whales are known for their intelligence and often approach boats or kayaks out of interest, not aggression. The old man's joyful and excited reaction captures the surprise of being so close to one of the ocean's giants. And he even checked to make sure his camera was recording this extraordinary event. Slamming Shark A group of friends set out for a peaceful fishing trip, but it quickly turned into a nightmare. The calm waters erupted in chaos when a massive great white shark suddenly rammed their boat with terrifying force. The impact left deep gashes in the hull as the shark viciously bit and damaged the front of the boat. It then moved to the back, flicking its tail with such power that water splashed everywhere, nearly capsizing the vessel. Fortunately, they escaped unharmed and immediately headed back to shore, realizing they had unknowingly ventured into the shark's territory. Shark Encounter ah! This kayaker was calmly minding his own business in the ocean when a shark suddenly appeared and rammed into the side of his kayak. Sharks sometimes bump or nudge objects in the water, a behavior called bump and bite, to investigate potential prey or out of curiosity. Startled and unsure of what to do, the man screamed and instinctively pushed the shark away with his foot, and to his relief, the shark then swam off, leaving him unharmed. I got sharks! Although it's rare, sharks do occasionally interact with kayaks, especially since these small, often brightly colored vessels can attract their attention. Tiger shark ran me. Holy. Oh, so the color of the kayak also triggers them. Another reason you shouldn't be out there in this bright orange looking kayak. But then you want to scream and wonder why this is going on. No, fam, you're attracting them. Holy. Nature's raw power. 
Orcas are known for tossing their prey into the air or slapping it with their tails, and these tourists witnessed this extraordinary sight while visiting Mexico's Gulf. This footage shows an orca leaping about 15 feet into the air while chasing a dolphin, showcasing its incredible speed and agility. As the fastest marine predators, orcas use powerful swimming capabilities and sophisticated hunting techniques, often working in pods. This dramatic leap might have been a strategy to surprise or outmaneuver the quick and agile dolphin, and making an unforgettable sight for those who witnessed it. Unlikely team up. Never in my whole life. Whales typically give birth to live young in warm, shallow waters, which provide some protection, and this spot seems to be perfect for that. Captured on the coast of Cape Town, this footage shows dolphins circling the whale giving birth, displaying a fascinating example of protective behavior. The dolphins are forming a barrier to shield the whale from potential predators like sharks. By surrounding the birthing whale, the dolphins help keep the vulnerable mother and her newborn calf safe from threats. And this remarkable interaction highlights the dolphins' role in ensuring the safety of their marine neighbors during such a critical moment. I wonder if one day we'll, we'll be like that, where we have to surround the hospital while somebody in our family gives birth. Wouldn't that be crazy? Especially if your parent, uh, your family is one that have a lot of babies then you would never be able to do nothing else. <laughs> Most of your, uh, your, your year would be surrounding a hospital while this person is giving birth. That would be crazy. I wonder if we ever get to something like that. Just thought though. Seal slap. <laughs> a group of young explorers had the most unforgettable experiences of their life. While they were kayaking above the low tides, one of them started recording. Suddenly, a seal appeared out of nowhere and offered a slap to one of the kayakers, leaving everyone completely shocked. <laughs> the seal was on a hunt. I ain't gonna lie, I'm petty. I might have dove in after that seal and tried to like hit him back. You know what I mean? I know, I know, I shouldn't do that. Ain't the safest. He could take me out at any moment, but I'm pettiness probably would have kicked in. Hunting mission and was carrying an octopus in its mouth, possibly preparing to eat it. Seals often subdue their prey by slamming or throwing it, which might explain why this seal tossed the octopus at the kayaker. Luckily, the guy remained safe, but this encounter gave him a truly interesting tale to tell. Godzilla. A research team had a terrifying encounter. While they were exploring an uncharted polar sea, a massive creature's head slowly emerged from the water. Its rugged, scaly skin resembled ancient stone, with deep grooves and ridges. Its large, menacing eyes glowed faintly with an eerie yellow light, according to one teammate who had eye contact with the creature. Though only its head was visible, the team felt certain that its hidden body was equally formidable. Suddenly, the creature vanished beneath the waves, and a whale appeared, its fluke briefly visible before it dove into the deep water leaving the team questioning what they had just witnessed. Silent Encounter hey. While paddling his board, a man had an unexpected encounter that he never thought he'd experience. Beneath his feet, an orca surfaced. Known as killer whales, they are apex predators and sit at the top of the food chain with few natural enemies, but despite their fearsome reputation, they can show calm and non-aggressive behavior towards humans. As we can see in the footage, the orca calmly swam alongside the paddler before diving deeper into the water, and the man remained composed, standing steadily and capturing the incredible moment on camera. Hey. Tuna Surprise the tuna. Oh These fishermen captured an unforgettable and dramatic scene that left them speechless. While fishing, they noticed smaller fish forming a bait ball, trying to protect themselves from predators, but what happened next was beyond anything they'd ever seen. Suddenly, tuna appeared, drawn to the bait ball. Known for their incredible speed and power, the tuna charged into the bait ball, devouring large quantities of prey in a matter of seconds. The aggressive feeding frenzy created an intense and chaotic scene in the water, with the fishermen watching in wonder as the tuna leaped out of the water, splashing and causing a turbulent commotion right before their eyes. Look at the tuna! 
Whale's Meditation. I think that's a whale tail. It's just come up. A man kayaking in the deep blue sea captured an unusual sighting. A large whale with its fluke sticking straight up out of the water, completely motionless, while a baby whale circled it. It might look strange at first, but this behavior, known as logging, happens when whales rest or sleep, staying near the surface with their tails pointing upward. Whales are vol- I thought when they did it, it, it was like their snout and their face and head is up, pointed up, and their tails are down. That's the first time I've ever seen it where the tail is up. I know that they do that, but... I didn't know they, they do it both ways. Voluntary breathers, so even while resting, they must come up for air. This is the craziest thing that's ever happened. The baby whale circling the larger one is likely a calf staying close to its mother for safety and companionship. This peaceful scene offers a rare glimpse into the resting habits and close bond between a mother whale and her calf in the wild. I think that's a whale tail. It's just come up. Orca dominance. We often think of white sharks as being the top predator in the ocean, when actually orca are. Orcas, also known as killer whales, have a varied diet that even includes the ultimate predators. Just like this. This footage shows an orca attacking a great white shark, targeting its center, which may suggest a precise strategy. Reaching up to a speed of 35.5 mph per hour and removing the shark's liver, this orca just left the shark's carcass behind. In headlines in Europe where they're attacking boats and some wonder, are they being playful or are they seeking revenge? There have been reports about orcas showing aggressive behavior toward boats and cruise ships, especially in the Strait of Gibraltar and off the coast of Portugal and Spain. These encounters have caused damage to vessels and raised concerns among maritime operators. Hammerhead Chase. The only good thing about this video is that both the man and shark remained unharmed. While kayaking, this man encountered a hammerhead shark with its distinctive T-shaped head, which seemed to show persistent interest in his kayak. The shark repeatedly approached, and despite the man's attempts to push it away with his paddle, it kept returning. After a flurry of frantic strikes, the shark eventually vanished, likely conceding defeat. Fortunately, the shark wasn't too large. Otherwise, the outcome could have been much worse. What's your take on this intense encounter? UFO dive. A couple of sailors right in the middle of the ocean experienced a strange and unexpected incident. Two fighter jets flew at high speed just above their heads. Moments later, they saw something fall from the sky into the ocean. The object, possibly a UFO, disappeared into the water, sparking speculation. Some suggest it could have been a malfunctioning drone or experimental military equipment, yet the high-speed chase suggests the object was of significant interest to the military. A helicopter soon arrived, flying low over the ocean, possibly searching for the object or a pilot who ejected using a parachute. These encounters often leave witnesses questioning what they saw, wondering if they witnessed something extraordinary. <laughs> Jumping Shark during a research trip, the team received numerous reports of breaching great white sharks from fishermen and boaters. Despite having experts on board, what they were about to witness was truly rare. As a man stood on the bow of the ship examining the sea, a great white shark appeared beneath him, leaping out of the water and trying to bite his foot. Fortunately, the man was standing on a grill, so the shark's attempt failed. Oh! Oh! But this incident highlighted the wild... And that wasn't no small, small shark neither, bro. That was a big boy. Ooh, I don't even care if I had that thing I'm standing on there to protect me. I still would have been, uh, yeah, man. I, I hope he had to change the clothes because I'd have definitely needed one. ...and unpredictable nature of great white sharks, serving as a crucial reminder to remain vigilant and never become complacent while on or near the water. Oh, holy crap. Shark Frenzy While sailing, fishermen stumbled upon an astonishing scene. Countless tiger sharks stirring up the water in a frenzy. These sharks had caught the scent of a carcass and gathered to feed. Their incredible sense of smell can detect the scent of dead animals from miles away, leading to dramatic feeding frenzies. 
When countless tiger sharks like these converge, they aggressively compete for food. For the fishermen, witnessing such a large number of aggressive sharks can be both mesmerizing and unsettling. The churning water and chaotic movements of the sharks create a dramatic and memorable sight. Sea Lion Spectacle This footage shows a large group of sea lions attracting predators due to their sheer numbers and also catching the attention of tourists. Humpback whales in the area are taking advantage of this opportunity to hunt. They are working together with one whale diving and blowing bubbles while others lunge through the concentrated group of sea lions. The seabirds in the footage are drawn to this feeding fury as they also feed on the prey stirred up by the whales. The large number of seabirds highlights a highly productive feeding ground where both whales and birds benefit from the the abundance of prey. Oh my God. Oh. Solo bites. <laughs> While in the middle of an ocean, a group of sailors came across a floating oddity. At first, they thought it to be a globster, but upon taking a closer look, it turned out to be a decomposing carcass of a marine giant that attracted a tiger shark. This tiger shark calmly approached a whale carcass from below, sensing the easy meal. Typically, a tiger shark would approach a whale carcass with purpose, ready to compete with other sharks for food. However, this shark was alone, so it fed calmly, taking its time and biting large chunks from the whale. Tail Tactics Not only slamming, but slapping too. Orcas have learned to amuse us by adapting different ways of hunting. Just like this orca that was filmed casually slapping a stingray with its tail as it swims by. Sudden but powerful, the slap overturned the stingray just in milliseconds. Stingrays, typically bottom dwellers, are vulnerable when swimming near the surface. And this one was caught off guard by the orca's sudden, forceful movement. With incredible strength and agility, orcas often use their powerful tails to hunt and stun prey. And this incident underscores their dominance in the ocean and how even an unintentional action can significantly impact other marine life. Frenzy Feast a team of marine researchers while studying the behavior of basking sharks came across a very thrilling scene. A gam of great white sharks gather around the carcass of a whale, feeding on it with intense focus. Despite the researchers' presence, the sharks remain undistracted, concentrating on their meal. Multiple sharks were seen competing for access to the whale, highlighting their aggressive feeding behavior. The exact time and cause of the whale's demise was unknown. However, the bloated whale provided a full feast to the ocean's most fearsome predators. Shark Bay Feast These tourists were in for a surprise during their ocean trip when they encountered a massive feeding frenzy involving 70 to 80 tiger sharks. The sharks were swarming around the carcass of a humpback whale, a sight they hadn't anticipated. Humpback whales are enormous, reaching up to 50 feet in length and weighing up to 40 tons. Their carcasses provide a major food source for deep sea creatures, attracting a wide range of scavengers, including tiger sharks. Tiger sharks, known for their aggressive feeding habits, are drawn to the decaying flesh and quickly gather in large numbers and can pose a threat to beachgoers. This is why tourists are warned to stay away from such areas to avoid any mishap. Hey, that's how you just know sharks are ruthless, bro. Normally, if you, you got something in your house, in your refrigerator or something, it starts to go bad, start decaying, you throw it out, right? Not sharks, fam. <laughs> they just keep eating. Oh, even better is the, the way they come after it. And they looking at it like, oh, even better. It's decaying. Hmm. Like, yeah, yeah. That's why you got to leave sharks alone, man. Shark encounter. In a striking underwater encounter, a man in a swimsuit exploring the deep sea unexpectedly spots a large shark approaching from behind. Just as the shark nears, the man looks back, and at that exact moment, the shark abruptly changes direction and swims away. While theories about this behavior vary, the most logical explanation is that the shark's sudden shift could be a natural avoidance response. Sharks are generally cautious and might alter their course if they sense a potential threat or if their approach seems too obvious. Additionally, in the deep sea where visibility is limited, the man's sudden glance might have startled the shark or made it feel too exposed, prompting it to retreat. 
Meg Attack. Nearly 10 years old, this footage claims to show a creature that many believe to be the prehistoric ocean predator. The video appears to capture a massive creature attacking a whale, with its size and behavior seemingly matching descriptions of the prehistoric megalodon. Although the footage quality isn't clear, it's striking how a creature large enough to toss a whale out of the water must be enormous, and such aggressive behavior points to an exceptionally powerful predator. What do you think about the creature in this footage? Mummified Sailor ah, fuck. Two friends on a fishing trip stumbled upon a yacht that had split in half and was drifting aimlessly. Upon closer inspection, one of them bravely swam to the boat and discovered it belonged to Manfred Fritz Bajorat, a German sailor who had been missing since 2009. The yacht, named Sayo, had been abandoned for years and was severely weathered. Inside, Bajorat's body was found mummified in the cabin. The salt water and harsh conditions had preserved him in this state. He was discovered seated at a table, seemingly in a position of rest or perhaps perhaps trying to make a final entry. The eerie find highlighted the tragic end of Bajorat's journey and the powerful effects of nature on abandoned vessels. <laughs> Floating Gold guys, ini muta paus pa, guys. Three local sailors struck it lucky when they discovered a rare and valuable substance known as is amber grease. Often called whale vomit, ambergris is a secretion from the intestines of sperm whales. Over time, this substance hardens and is eventually expelled by the whale. When fresh, ambergris has a strong, unpleasant odor, but as it ages, I don't even care if it has an odor. That's the one way possibly people can get me in the water on a like boat trip, deep sea fishing or something like that. If I know I can potentially find whale vomit. Do you know how much that stuff is worth? Seriously, you know if you can get me on a boat, it gotta be worth a lot of money. It, trust me, it is. Ages, it develops a sweet, earthy fragrance. For its ability to fix scents and make them last longer, this thing is highly prized in the perfume industry. This is why the ecstatic sailors could be seen cutting chunks from their find, realizing they've essentially struck gold at sea. Clingy Octopus fishermen, while casting their crab pot into the ocean, were not expecting to get this surprise. These highly intelligent and curious creatures often explore objects like crab pots with their flexible arms, and this octopus was likely drawn to the pot for shelter or in search of prey. Known for their problem-solving skills, octopuses can often escape traps if given time, but this one was caught in the act holding on tightly to the pot even as it was pulled out of the water. For flying boat and Fatamorgana illusion is very uncommon because usually the wind mixes all these layers around. A man at the beach noticed something unusual, a boat in the sea that wasn't floating. It soared high in the sky. He shared this video on the internet and it gained popularity. People speculated that the boat was either enchanted or bewitched. Skeptics claimed it could be doctored, yet experts examined the footage and verified its authenticity. They deduced it was probably a mirage rather than a curse. Ocean Screams him. A fisherman on a cruise ship heard strange noises during the night and began recording. The sounds resembled sirens communicating with a dolphin. What the fuck is that noise, bro? The dark, vast ocean made it hard to pinpoint the source, so he ran around the ship to find it. As the siren sounds grew louder, one of them even said, jump for me. Before the dolphin resumed its calls. The next morning, the fisherman recorded another video saying that a government team had visited the ship for testing. I mean, it's legit here. Peep game, let's be sneaky. He also mentioned that his TikTok account was banned shortly after he posted the video of the sirens and dolphin communication. Lagoon Landing. This is the video of a rescue after Air New Guinea Flight 73 crashed into Chuuk Lagoon on September 28, 2018. The Boeing 737-800 was attempting to land at Chuuk International Airport in Micronesia when it undershot the runway and ended up in the lagoon with 47 passengers and crew on board. 
Luckily, the U.S. Navy was nearby on a training exercise and quickly sprang into action. The Navy sailors bravely rescued passengers from the partially submerged plane, and they even walked on the wing, entered the cabin to assist those still trapped inside. Thanks to the rapid response of the Navy and local authorities, 46 of the 47 people were saved. Tragically, one passenger was later found deceased inside the aircraft. That's got to be a horrifying experience. Are you kidding me? Like, how did you overshoot the runway? Like, oh, no. Do you mean to tell me we could have successfully completed 98% of the flight, but we get down to get ready to finish and you overshoot the runway? See, see I, I just, this is why I question y'all taking planes. I don't see how y'all do it. Rescue Miracle. They were stranded on a sailboat in the middle of the Pacific Ocean for nearly five months. Two American women and their dogs were rescued by the U.S. Navy after being stranded on their sailboat in the Pacific Ocean for 147 days. The sailboat had drifted far from any land, making the rescue particularly challenging. The Navy's expertise and resources were crucial in locating the stranded boat and bringing the women and their dogs to safety. Despite the ordeal, the women were well prepared, having stocked enough dry food to last nearly a year. This preparation helped them survive the months at sea. Their rescue drew significant media attention, highlighting both the women's resilience and the Navy's efficiency. This is the moment Jennifer Appel and Tasha Fuyaba were saved by the Navy. Ocean Survivor he apparently jumped off that raft and swam towards that giant tanker in the open ocean. In 2018, Aldi novel Adelang, a 19-year-old from Indonesia, survived 49 days stranded at sea after his fishing raft drifted into the Pacific Ocean. Aldi's job was to light lamps on the raft to attract fish, but strong winds broke the anchor, leaving him adrift. With limited supplies, Aldi caught fish and filtered seawater through his clothes to survive. He 49 days? I'm diving off that into the water too and swimming up to that boat. Talking about wonder what he diving in. Yes, I would 49 days is a long time, bro. Especially when you don't have you don't have no food, you having to catch fish and filter water. He kept his spirits up by reading his Bible and praying daily. Despite several ships passing by, none noticed his tiny raft. Finally, on August 31st, 2018, a Panamanian vessel, MV Arpeggio, spotted and rescued him off the coast of Guam, thousands of miles from where he started. The crew provided him with food, water, and medical care before safely returning him to Indonesia. He survived, he said, by eating fish he'd caught and drinking seawater he filtered through his shirt. Lost Voyage. Oh, that Joker ate sushi for 40 something days. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, fam. I, I, I've been out there doing the same thing. I'd have came back and opened up a sushi restaurant after that. I got too much experience now. Can I get you an egg, please? Uh, Tim Shaddock. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from Australia. Yeah. A 54-year-old Australian Tim Shattuck, along with his dog Bella, survived an incredible ordeal at sea. Shattuck had embarked on a sailing trip from Mexico to French Polynesia, but disaster struck when a storm damaged his boat's electronics, leaving them stranded in the vast Pacific Ocean. For over two months, Shattuck and Bella drifted without navigation, surviving by catching fish and collecting rainwater. However, their dire situation finally came to an end when the Mexican tuna fishing boat, Maria Delia, discovered their disabled catamaran more than 1,200 miles from land. Despite the long ordeal, Shattuck was found in surprisingly good health, though visibly thinner, and Bella, his loyal companion, also pulled through. I departed to Mexico. Where from Mexico? Uh, La Paz. Corey Vrecken, Whirlpool. This video shows a rescue team on an inflatable boat traveling toward an island when they encounter a small whirlpool that suddenly changes their boat's direction. Although not large enough to be a serious threat, whirlpools like this can still alter a boat's course, and these swirling water currents are common near islands, where tidal forces create circular motions in the water. Rescue teams are trained to stay calm in such situations, handling unexpected challenges like whirlpools and strong currents with confidence. And this team's composed reaction shows their experience and skill in navigating these natural obstacles. Floating House 
some sailors spotted a huge structure floating in the middle of the ocean. Looking at this from a distance, they first thought it to be another boat, but as they went closer, it turned out to be a craftsman-style home. The house might have originally been part of a floating platform that became detached or drifted away, possibly due to an accident. Floating structures in the ocean can pose safety risks, as they might not be marked on navigation charts and could obstruct shipping lanes. The video was shared online, which altered the authorities to remove the floating structure to avoid any risk. Ice Chest Survivor This incredible footage shows the rescue of a Mexican fisherman who survived a harrowing nightmare adrift in the Pacific Ocean. After his boat was shipwrecked, he was stranded at sea for several days, with only the icebox keeping him afloat. During this time, he survived by catching and eating seabirds and even a turtle. When rescued, the fisherman was in surprisingly good condition but exhausted. The footage captures him lying on the deck of the rescue ship, relief and fatigue evident on his face. As he was pulled to safety, he smiled and talked with his rescuers, a touching moment after his torment. Skyfall Mystery Bizarre footage from East Java shows a long, black object plunging into the sea in Indonesia, with some claiming it was a damaged UFO shaped like an anchor. The spooky object was swallowed by waves shortly after impact. Though its descent appeared slow, this was due to the camera's distance. Despite the object's size, no sonic boom or impact sound was heard, sparking questions about its origin and whether advanced technology was involved. An investigation team was sent to the crash site, but no report has been shared yet, leaving the event shrouded in mystery. Hovering UFO A mysterious object was captured hovering over water in Alaska. A strange, dome-shaped object was moving slowly just above the surface. Just like a UFO, it kept flying, intriguing curiosity among onlookers. While it might look like an otherworldly craft, there's a logical explanation behind this sighting. This was actually an excellent work of Fata Morgana, a complex mirage caused by the refraction of light through different layers of air. This optical illusion distorts the appearance of distant objects, making them seem like unusual shapes floating above the water. The strange dome you see is likely a distorted view of an island or a cruise ship, cleverly tricking your brain into seeing something extraordinary. Bubbling Mystery in 2022, the Danish Defense Command released a fascinating video showing strange bubbles rising from the Baltic Sea, suggesting a possible major underwater rupture. It later came to light that these bubbles were actually gas leaks from the Nord Stream pipelines, which are vital for transporting gas from Russia to Europe. Both pipelines leaked at the same time, sparking intense speculation among experts. Was this just a coincidence, or was it a deliberate act of sabotage? The situation has turned into a real-life thriller, with ongoing questions about who might be behind it and why. This mystery has captured public interest, leaving us with a compelling whodunit that is still unfolding. Pummy to see. A sailor on a sea trip encountered a surprising sight. The sea's color had changed and a vast endless layer covered the surface. This phenomenon turned out to be a pumice raft that formed after volcanic eruptions. When a volcano erupts, it ejects pumice, light, porous volcanic rock into the sea. Because pumice is buoyant and filled with gas bubbles, it floats on the water and forms a raft-like layer. For someone who has never seen a pumice raft, it can be astonishing. The sudden sea color change and the sight of this extensive floating layer might seem like an unusual or unexplained occurrence. But the texture and size of the raft can intrigue anyone sparking curiosity about its origins and how it ended up there. I wonder if that's how like an island is, is like the foundation and the start and of development of an island happens. I wonder if that's how it occurs. Like, you could be amiss what will later in a few years or however many years down the line it takes where an island will, a new island will present itself. And you could have stayed right there and been the owner of that island and stated your claim. Crash 
Kraken's egg. It seems spongy, but now I'm seeing potential egg case. A mysterious golden orb was recently discovered on the Alaskan ocean floor, sparking intense curiosity. This golden object is unusual not only for its color, but also for its soft, delicate texture. Soft thermal air, okay. Which was detected by a high-tech underwater robot. Based on the orb's structure and a hole, scientists believe it might be an egg laid by an unknown marine creature. The orb's striking appearance has led to wild speculation, with some even suggesting it could be the egg of a mythical sea monster like the Kraken. This legendary creature from folklore adds an exciting layer of mystery to this already intriguing find. Bubble Beach while strolling along the shore, a tourist stumbled upon some weird objects. Small, jelly-like objects with a delicate, transparent appearance were scattered across the sand. Astonished at first, but a local told him those jello bubbles are called sea gooseberries that are about the size of a marble. In the water, they shimmer with an iridescent glow, but on land, they appear as clear, gelatinous blobs. Their unusual, otherworldly look and abundance on the shore make them a captivating sight for anyone who comes across them. Open Discussion A group of sailors and fishermen were navigating the Pacific Ocean, setting bait with hopes for a large catch. They were met with a surprising outcome. An enormous great white shark, more than 80 feet in length, sprang out of the water towards the bait. The shark was so enormous that it never completely rose out of the water. Astonishing footage rapidly circulated on the internet, leading some to speculate it was a megalodon or a similar creature. The shark disappeared back into the deep waters, sparking a wave of speculation. Was this sighting that of an ancient giant or merely a massive great white? What's your opinion?